Step one. A group member will use their force to push the car, which will transfer friction energy, kinetic energy, and potential energy, because the dominoes would not move if there was no friction or how they were placed. This step uses the first law and second law of motion. First law is used when the car hits the dominoes. Second law is used because the car wouldn't make the dominoes fall if the car hit it too softly. The simple machines in step one are wheel and axle in the car's wheels. Step two. When step one occurs, step two uses an inclined plane, which is at a 35 degree angle. The dominoes from step one hit an orange ball, which falls down the inclined plane, which has a ruler down the middle to support the ball. This step uses the first law of motion by the dominoes hitting the ball. Second law is used as well, because the ball couldn't move if it was hit too softly. The simple machines in step two are an inclined plane. Energy conversions are kinetic to kinetic, moving through dominoes to a ball. Step three. After step one and two, step three uses the ball from step two, which falls down the inclined plane, which will hit three or four dominoes, which are resting on a box to cause step four. This step uses for Newton's first law of motion by causing the ball to continuously move to hit the dominoes. This step also uses the second law by having enough power to knock over the dominoes. There are no simple machines in step three. The energy conversions are kinetic to kinetic, moving through ball to domino. Step four. Step one, two, and three have all occurred so far. Step four uses an inclined plane, which is at a five degree angle. The inclined plane has wood in the middle to support the ball, which is rolling down the inclined plane. The dominoes from step three hit the step four's ball. This step uses the first and second law of motion. First law is used when the dominoes hit the ball. Step two is used because it has enough force from the dominoes to fall. Step five has the ball from step four go down the inclined plane and into a pulley. This step is using the first and second laws of motion. Step six is when the ball goes in the pulley the pulley releases an equal opposite force on the other side of the pulley, making the pulley shake. This step uses the first, second, and third laws of motion. Step seven is when the pulley shakes, there is a ball at the top of a cup pool noodle that gets knocked down when the pulley shakes. This step uses the first and second laws of motion. Step eight is when the ball gets knocked down by the pulley and goes down the pool noodle. Then the ball hits a cup filled with Kool-Aid sugar into a cup of water. This uses the first, second, and third laws of motion. Yo, yo, these are shapes. You hear about the ball. Don't crawl. Go. I duck. Can you put your hand there? <laughs> Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> 